bookended by uninhabited coastline and rugged desert terrain, the Kimberley is proof of Mother Nature's magnanimity. This week, we continue our scenic tour through Australia's weathered and wondrous backyard, and we begin 100 kilometres south of the town of Kununurra, at one of the country's most inspired wilderness resorts, El Cuestro. Symbol of the Kimberley, the beautiful Boab tree. Yeah. Now, they say they can grow to 2,000 years of age, they lose all their leaves through the dry season. They just look absolutely spectacular. I love them. They look like big pregnant women going, where are those men? You can see the nuts or the fruit that hang down. Yeah. Sometimes you'll find them on the ground. Very, very high in vitamin C. So you right. want to try a bit? I've never had bush Come tacos. on, let's, let's, let's bust time. it open. Let's have a go at some of that. Careful you don't break your teeth on the seeds. The boab means many seeds, but very high in vitamin C. A bit like biting into polystyrene foam esky. Thank you, that's the esky. Where is my cold one inside it? Because <laughs> I need it to wash down the taste. That's disgusting. <laughs> With a million acres to explore, El Cuestro offers the most secluded and sensational adventure. Oh, here we are, beautiful 70 spring. This is nature's own private plunge pool. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. It's really warm. Oh, well, it's, this water's coming all the way from New Guinea under the Timor Sea up through a natural fault line, coming out at a beautiful 30 to 32 degrees. Just lay Lovely. back. Guaranteed 10 years younger when you get out, Cathy. That's how good it is. It's like an aquatic tardis. Oh, look, you just can't beat time. it. But the true highlight of any stay here is delivered at day's end. Pigeonhole Lookout is probably one of the most spectacular lookouts on El Cuestro. Thousands of people come here every year just to see these stunning Kimberley sunset. Cheers. Cheers. Kununurra is Aboriginal for many waters, which proved prophetic as it's now Australia's largest water park. The town's main water source, Lake Argyle, is created by the Ord River Dam, the largest man-made lake in the country. With our Captain Dylan and the team at Triple J Cruises, we're headed 55 kilometres from the dam wall back into the town of Kununurra. And while our crop friends stay well camouflaged, these waters are abundant with wildlife. It seems like it's a bird sanctuary here. It is, it's beautiful for birds. When you've got this much pristine, constant fresh water in an area as arid as the Kimberley is, it's a really big attraction for a lot of bird life. So we've got an in excess of 150 species of birds just on this one section of water right here. It's this raw beauty and relative isolation which lures people to the area to become what locals proudly refer to as the Kimberley Clan. I was once told when I first started travelling, prior to my six years here, that if you put your feet in the waters of the Ord that you'll always come back, and it's actually it is true. It's true. We're in the colourful frontier town of Broome, the final stop on our epic Aussie adventure with Seymour. Were your grandparents amazed when you then went on to have a great time? My gal pal is Kira Fong, a former model and long-time Broomie, with many exotic tales to tell. And on the right, we're actually coming up to the Sun Pictures, and the Sun Pictures is the world's oldest operating outdoor picture theatre. Australia's oldest outdoor picture Yeah, no, the world's the world, oldest world's really? Opened in 1916, Sun Cinema's movies still screen here every day, but Kira's rags to riches tale is even more cinematic in scope. I love to think of you though, here you are, you modelling in Paris and London and Barcelona, and you came from this little tiny town of Brew. Yeah, actually my family's property is just up here on your right, and when we were kids we used to sit at the top story, it's a two-story building, and we used to watch the movies out the window. <laughs> Broome owes its existence to the discovery of pearls. The industry peaked in the first decade of the 20th century, and to this day, the world is Broome's oyster, literally. So what you're doing is pulling up a panel. Yeah. So this is what houses our oysters. It's like oyster Alcatraz, <laughs> to a degree. Open sesame. Alrighty. Can you see the pearl? So we'll pull this top piece off. Oh, wow. A nice little pearl. Oh. Isn't that extraordinary that that's just come out of the <laughs> sea? And one must have a wander through the gallery at Willie Creek, if only to dream. So how many of these would you sell? Unfortunately, not too many. There's not actually that many people ready to spend $100,000 on a strand. 
So, Megan, do you think I'm a little bit overdressed for the outback? No such thing as overdressed. Thank you. I totally agree. <laughs> I think I could do a couple more strands. I'm sure we can arrange something. Could you just get me a few more. Sure.